frequent rain this summer has resulted in an excess of mosquitoes around the country, many of them bringing with them viruses and parasites, which often hitch a ride on these pests. Our medical expert, Dr. David Winter from Baylor Scott & White, joins us this morning to talk about the implications of all this and how we can minimize our exposure to mosquitoes and the diseases they transmit. Dr. Winter, nobody likes mosquitoes, and we definitely don't like more of them. <laughs> Let's talk about the diseases. They spread a lot of diseases, care. Mark. Yeah. Let's talk about the diseases that they, well, uh, they carry. Malaria, so. for one, that's a parasite. Chikungunya, that's a very rare virus. Because of severe arthritis, there's a Zika virus. That's bad on unborn children. It could cause birth defects. West Nile virus can affect the brain. And then you've got Jamestown Canyon fever, Rift Valley virus, lacrosse encephalitis, Eastern Inquine encephalitis. There's even dinghy fever and yellow fever. Those are pretty rare in this country, but a lot of reasons to be careful around mosquitoes. Well, given all those diseases, certainly some scary ones for folks, especially here in Texas where we see so many of them. How do we minimize our exposure to those bites? Yeah, understand the mosquitoes can multiply very rapidly, lay lots of eggs in stagnant water. So look around your yard. If you've got pots or pans out there, some plants have extra water around them, get rid of that because that's where they're going to multiply very quickly. And understand also mosquitoes are most active early in the morning and late in the evenings. Be very careful at those times. You want to wear long sleeve shirts, long pants. Also, bug sprays work very well to get rid of mosquitoes, at least keep them away from you. You talked about bug sprays. Are there any that you specifically recommend? I know some folks are afraid of using DEET, but that's what the recommendation is I see a lot of times. Yeah, DEET's the most common one, Mark, and it does work very well, D-E-E-T. But there's also Picardian. This one works well. This is, a lot of people recommend this if you go to Africa. The mosquitoes there tend to do well. They don't get around that one very much. And then there's oil of lemon ellipticus. This is, smells good, and it also works well. These three are all certified. They all work well. Many others don't work, so be careful what you choose. What about those citronella candles that you see so often? Yep, they don't work very well. They smell good, but studies have shown they don't work like these three do, Mark. All right, well, that's good to know. But I you know, do wonder when we talk about the increase in the mosquitoes, you look at some of those illnesses, are you seeing an uptick already? We are. In fact, West Now virus reported around the country. This one makes me particularly nervous, Mark. One of my physician colleagues, he got West Now virus. He was in the ICU for three weeks, very, very sick. He did recover. I know also of a young 20-year-old female, she got it, and she still has trouble talking and walking. So West Nile, these other nine ones that I mentioned, they're out there right now. Be careful around mosquitoes. Try to stay away from them. Well, we are used to mosquito bites, but you don't want to get sick from them, uh, definitely. Thanks for the heads up this morning, Dr. David Winter from Baylor Scott & White. Always appreciate you joining us.